today in part two of your stick isn't too long, your biomechanics suck. I'm going to show you the difference between a player who's going to blame the stick length for the reason they can't control the puck and a player who has good biomechanics. Remembering that stick length may matter, but your biomechanics are first. Stick length is a band-aid, biomechanics is a first. I'm going to show you first what it looks like for a player to pick it up with good biomechanics and then a player to pick up a loose puck with uh, sloppy biomechanics blaming their stick for the issue. Let's, let's go over that now. Pay attention to my body angle, pay attention to my knee bend, pay attention to my hip flexion, and pay attention to my center of gravity and how it moves. So in the first instance you guys saw, I kept my body angle about the same as I reached, just reaching my arms, adjusting them as needed, not shrugging shoulders, not breaking anywhere, pulling the puck in, raising my hands up, making a play. In the second instance, I moved my whole body to grab the puck, went off balance, and then had to straighten up to make the play because my hands were cemented to the side of my body. Um, of course, the stick length can help but biomechanics are first. So that is an example right there. I'll show you one more time of the uh, what it looks like when smooth, skillful players with excellent biomechanics pick up a puck and then uh, make a play. So there we had it. I kept my body angle about the same, reached my hands, pulled them up to make a play. Didn't have to adjust my body angle a ton, kept my body uh, center of gravity level, making me deceptive and smooth. Now that wasn't me when I played, but it could be you, so give that a shot.